Hi everyone! Today I want to show you my favorite custom make shortcuts in Final Cut Pro X. This really speeded up my editing and I hope it does it for you too. Let's go straight to the first one, which is a shortcut for recording voiceover. To open the voiceover window, we usually have to go to this window and press record voiceover or press option command 8. Now we want to access this by just pressing number 8 on your Mac keyboard. To do this, we're going to go to commands and press customize. As you can see here, I already have a custom keyboard called my keyboard Final Cut Pro X. Now we press the number 8 and we can see that there is already assigned to a command. And the voiceover command is assigned to the option command 8. If you want to say this command, we can save it by dragging it to the empty space and then we can move to record voiceover command to the no modifier space. Now we can save this and close the window. Now all we need to do this is press the number 8 to open the voiceover window and since I do a lot of voiceover, this is one of my most useful shortcuts. If you press 8 again, you can close this window. My tip number 2 is a shortcut on the keyboard that I assigned to the number 7 and it's a view waveforms for color grading, which I also use a lot. To open the window scope, I used to press command 7, but I really want to make life easier by just pressing the number 7. So let's go back to our custom keyboard setting. Right here we can see that no modifier is already assigned to the number 7. So we want to repeat the same process we did before with the number 8. We want to move this shortcut to an empty space in case we need it later. I will now move the show high video scopes to the no modifier space and press save. Close the window and test the shortcut. Okay guys, by pressing only 7 now, we should be able to see our scope and hide it every time we don't need it by pressing 7 again. Now, we had the number 7 assigned to the video scope window and the number 8 to the voiceover window. So we have two of the shortcuts already sorted out. Let's go to our next. I consider this one the most useful shortcut. It is related to slow motion and automatic speed. I usually record in 24p, but when I'm planning to slow down the footage, I record in 60p. When you import your footage to the timeline, it is imported in normal speed. But let's say I want to see my 60p footage in a slow motion already. I can go here and open this window and press automatic speed, which will slow down the footage automatically to the best speed. But we can do this faster by creating a custom shortcut. And believe me if I tell you, this has helped me out a lot to speed up my editing. Okay, let's set this footage back to normal and let us create our custom shortcut. For that, we go back to Command, Customize, or press Option Command K. I want to use the S key for this. The No Modifier is set for Skimmer here. I had an empty space here for Command S where I can drag this. In this case, I'm going to search for automatic speed. Once I find it, I press S on my custom keyboard and drag it to the no modifier space. After this, we save it and close the window. We go back to our timeline and select the clip. And all we have to do now is press S. Our footage will slow to the desired speed, which for 50% it's going to be around 40 to 50%. Okay guys, this is it for today. If you like this type of tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to the Real Techie channel. There is a lot more new videos with useful tips to come. If you are shopping for a YouTube camera gear, you can find great offers on the description below.